some more. So today marks the day we are going to begin to prepare for your MOA medical office assistant portion of your certification. The first step are the key terms you have been assigned. You guys are going to get sick of hearing me say it. I said it yesterday. Key terms are very, very important. Key terms are key. <laughs> so make sure that you know your key terms. So we're going to be talking today about allowed amount. You know, yesterday we talked about copay, coinsurance, deductible, and we're going to be, be, uh, continue to talk about those things. So let's talk about allowed amount. Allowed amount is the, uh, max, is the maximum amount a plan will pay for a covered healthcare service. May also be called eligible expense, payment allow, allowance, or negotiated rate. An allowed amount within network care, if you, if you use a provider that is in network with your healthcare plan, the allowed amount is the discounted price your managed care health plan negotiated in advance for that service. Usually an in-network provider will bill more than the allowed amount, but he or she will only get paid the allowed amount. You don't have to make up the difference between the allowed amount and the actual amount billed when you use an in-network provider. Your provider has to write off whatever portion of the billed amount that's above the allowed amount. That's one of the consumer protections that comes with using an in-network provider. I know that's a lot of words, but I'm going to show you. Do you guys remember the EOB explanation of benefits that we went over? I believe it was last week. You got to see that in a five-minute video, and we talked about all the different elements of that. Well, this plays into that EOB. Everything that I'm doing has a rhyme and a reason. So for example, and then I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna tell you that I'm gonna show you. For example, if I go to the doctor and the doctor charges $175 for that visit, but he's in network with my insurance and the allowed amount for that visit is only $100, I can only, he can only bill $100. Now I'm gonna show that to you. So we're gonna be looking at an EOB next. All right, so you guys remember we talked about the EOB and all the different things. Let's look where the red arrow is. It says allow charges. Okay, so let's go to number two here. It says provider charges $41.50, but the allowed amount is only $3.15. Vast difference, right? Because this is what our insurance has negotiated with them. So let's look at line item two. $375, but the allowed amount is only $118.15. So for this visit, this provider can only charge $121.30. Now he wanted to charge $416.50, but he's only allowed to charge $121.30. So on an EOB, you're going to be able to see this very clearly, what the provider actually charged, but what they're only allowed to charge. All right, let's move on to the next portion. However, this isn't to say you'll pay nothing. You pay a portion of the total allowed amount in the form of a copayment, coinsurance, or a deductible. All right, so let's take a look at the EOB again. So here we see the copayment. Well, these are the same charges that we were looking at. Well, this is the same EOB. So let's look at the copayment. Copayment is a set amount, it's $35. How much of this is going to go towards deductible? Zero. How much is the coinsurance? Zero. Remember, deductible is that big amount that we have to pay that chunk of money that we have to pay before the insurance kicks in and your coinsurance kicks in. So nothing on this bill goes towards deductible and nothing goes towards coinsurance. So let's go over these key terms again. 
Copayment is a fixed amount established by an insurance plan for sharing the cost of certain health services between the insurance plan and the insurance customer. Again, your copayment is a fixed amount. Let's talk about the deductible. The deductible is the amount you pay for covered health care services before your insurance plan starts to pay. With a $2,000 deductible, for example, you pay the first $2,000 of covered services yourself. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I got to go back. Coinsurance is the percentage of the cost of a covered health care service you pay. 20%, for example, after you've paid your deductible. Now, again, here's that same EOB. We have our, uh, um, what the, uh, what, oh, goodness, what the provider charged, what was allowed, the copayment, what was put forth towards deductible, and what is coinsurance, which is zero. So this is your assignment. Using the slides and the information I just gave you, please submit the answer to each one of these questions. Everything here can be found within that slideshow or the little lecture that I just gave you. That's all for today. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.